there, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your month of March 2022. And just a quick reminder for all of you out there, I do not appear in my monthly tarot card forecasts, but you can see me in every other video on this channel, including the monthly astrology forecasts for March, which are already up, as well as the weekly tarot forecasts I put out every Saturday for my YouTube member supporters and Patreon supporters. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or simply follow the links in the down bar below. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. So what's going on when it comes to your month of March? The big theme or the big story behind everything here is the Ten of Cups in reverse. And this is going to be a month where a lot of beliefs are going to be challenged because of a lot of truths that have been kept under wraps, a lot of hidden finds, and a lot of hidden narratives are all coming to the surface to be viewed in plain sight. Because the Ten of Cups reversed is all about the discovery of cover-ups, as well as also learning where aesthetic and image and surface is not the proof of concept or not proof of much of anything. Now, with the Ten of Cups reversed, this can go either way. And then you'll see as we go through the rest of these cards, it is going to go kind of all directions. There really isn't a way to go black and white simple with this. In fact, with the Ten of Cups reversed, this could be very advantage advantageous excuse me, for a lot of you Virgo people, because we may be finding out about certain things that we thought were certain or stuck or fixed that are much more malleable, much more mutable and adjustable in order to actually serve us. You know, things that we thought we were stuck with, things that we thought were true or rock solid are not so, giving us some leeway, giving us some freedom, giving us a chance to undo maybe things that we didn't think we could actually fix or resolve. With the Ten of Cups reversed, some of you may find, however, that yes, certain cover-ups or certain hidden information coming out on the job, coming out in your industry, coming out in your family, coming out throughout, you know, all of your spaces is still going to, of course, create some cognitive dissonance every once in a while because it may change the opinions we have about what we're doing, who we're doing it with, or maybe even our own past, our own history, our own memory. This is not something to shy away from. This is all about resolution. And, you know, as we saw in the monthly forecast, uh, the astrology forecast for March, this is going to be a month where it is very hectic, it is very demanding, but in a very positive way. And we are going through a time, as we've talked about in another, a couple of other astrology videos, like the uh, Pluto return video and the North Node in Taurus video, you know, this is also a time for a lot of hidden truths to come to the surface. So lean in. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, you do have the Fool card reversed and the Devil card reversed. Now with the Fool card reversed, I am seeing a lot of you Virgo people actually catching a big break this month, but it may be something you have to psych yourself up for. Because the full card reverse, there's an opportunity for a beautiful new start or a beautiful new beginning on the job or maybe with some kind of living situation or financial endeavor. But if we allow uncertainty or we allow fear or we allow maybe just uh, being too comfortable or maybe being too attached to our current space or our current routine to shake us up a little bit, we may not be able to see this for what it really is. This could be a time where your ability to take risks needs to be looked at. Where is it time to be braver? Where is it time to be okay with challenging yourself, to rise to higher heights, to accept more pressure, or to deviate from a course that you began long ago? The Fool card reverse is indicating this is a big break, but again, it is going to be a bit personally challenging. Luckily, with the Devil card reversed, we're also seeing a purge of some kind of pest or some kind of interference or block or liability that you have been living with or working with or living around or working around 
for way too long. The Devil card reversed is all about the purging of a weight, a burden, or a shadow that has created a lot of problems or a lot of limitations or has held us back in some way. This could, of course, be possibly uh, an old bit of business financially or professionally, or maybe even a person such as a coworker, somebody in your work community, in your field, or maybe a policy or even a situation going on with a family member that is finally getting cleared and released so that we can have life more on our terms and in a much more comfortable way. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you do have the Justice card upright and the Lovers upright. And this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful month when it comes to you getting the perfect crew, the perfect companionships, the perfect community. Because the Justice card upright is indicating some kind of new alliance or some kind of contract or agreement or covenant is getting made this month that is going to be lifting out of your lifting you excuse me and all concerned out of your status quo this could of course show up as some kind of arrangement that we are making either socially professionally or financially that is starting to show big payoffs in the short term as well as long term or quite possibly the conclusion of some kind of big negotiation or maybe journey you have been on in a certain network or maybe part of your social life or collaboration that is ready to finally move on to its next stage or culminate as a big success. This is also going to be made doubly sure by the lover's card upright because there is also some kind of match being made this month. Now, whether this is tied directly to the Justice card upright, some of you will experience that. Some of you will find this as a completely separate matter. But with the Lover's card, I am seeing you being brought together with somebody that is going to be potentially a lifelong companion, a lifelong ally, somebody that immediately is going to feel right at home with you and you them. I do feel like this spans all compartments of how we look at our social life. This is going to be somebody who is just a part of the inner core, a part of the, the inner circle right out the gate. This could be somebody that you know that you've been at a distance from, either through time or proximity, or this could be a, a match made in heaven that is a win-win alliance that gets its fresh start, or its first start even, this month. However, with the Lover's card upright and the Justice card upright, be prepared to watch your entire social surroundings, the entire social atmosphere around you, get manicured and adjusted in such a way where you are feeling like you have got, as I said at the beginning, the best crew, the best fellowship, the best team ever. When it comes to your challenges this month, you do have the Nine of Cups reversed and the Magician reversed. With the Nine of Cups reversed, one of the biggest challenges that we can have is understanding that a lot of what we are getting this month, as wonderful as it is, right, with the Justice card, the Lover's card, the Devil re reversed, is not going to always just take care of itself. And it can be a very important message to remember when looking at any kind of divination. We want to remember that we have to be ready to move things along and finish things up and not take for granted that things are going to get better all by themselves. Because the Nine of Cups reverse is indicating a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of wishes getting granted, but they are showing up in ways that are somewhat incomplete. Incomplete does not necessarily mean a failure. In fact, sometimes people are challenged with the Nine of Cups reversed not to poo-poo or dismiss or disregard something that is a clear blessing just because it is coming in an incomplete fashion. A lot of the stories that are getting started this month will not finish this month, and you want to make sure that you are okay with turning it into more of an endeavor and really allowing a lot of these wishes to continue their growth or continue crystallizing as we go into April as well. Just because something shows up incomplete doesn't mean it's a failure. When it comes to the Magician card reversed, 
Again, kind of a harken back to that Ten of Cups reversed Virgos. Be mindful that a lot of what you have been working with has been filtered when it comes to different stories, different narratives that you've been given through family, through work, through your social life, your spiritual life. And with the Magician card reversed, you may have to face either a person or a situation that has misrepresented themselves or itself in your life. This could be showing up where a fraud is revealed or an imposter is revealed or maybe some kind of commitment that was started on false pretenses, whether it's a social commitment, a personal commitment, or a professional commitment. It was started on, on again, the wrong way and maybe was never going the way you wanted it to go. And with the Magician card reversed, we are challenged with getting it out of our way, getting it out of our lives, whether it's closing the story or closing the connection with the source, because we've got a lot of good coming in and we don't need to hold any more space for people who are faking with us. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you do have the Knight of Swords upright and the Five of Swords upright. And with the Knight of Swords, a lot of you Virgo people are going to find that love and romance is progressing really quickly this month. Uh, the Knight of Swords is indicating that a lot of you who are in existing romantic relationships, you've been seeing somebody recently, or you're coupled, or you're married, are going to find that you and a partner are actually making a huge leap. And this could actually come with a partner finally clearing some kind of business or something that has been tying them up and is now allowing them and you to just make a beeline towards some kind of mutual goal or aspiration. The Knight of Swords is also indicating here you and a partner are going to emerge victorious over some kind of maybe antagonist or some kind of uh, burden or challenge that you have been struggling to fully or completely overcome as a couple or as a family, and it will happen quite quickly. It may even happen before we get halfway through the month, and that is going to free everybody up. In fact, the Knight of Swords is indicating here a relationship goal is going to, you know, we're moving the deadline up because we are getting so much done here. When it comes to those of you who are currently single or available, I do see with the Knight of Swords a new romantic opportunity still stepping forward, absolutely. And with the Knight of Swords, this is somebody who is going to be volunteering to get more involved in helping you fight a battle that you have. It could be something near and dear to their heart. In fact, with the Knight of Swords, we often see partners, both established partnerships as well as new people, uh, becoming more champions to our cause, getting more involved in our space. The sword people will get more involved in our life story, even in corners and spaces where they weren't so involved before. But they're taking a much more active role here. And for those of you looking for new people, this is going to be somebody that I think is trying to prove themselves by showing up as, you know, a helper, a knight in shining armor. When it comes to the Five of Swords upright, though, this is going to be a month that's not without its own conflicts or fights. I am seeing that there could be some issues that need to be addressed when it comes to the social surroundings of your relationships, whether it has to do with your friends or your partner's friends or your community and culture or their community and culture, or possibly even for those of you who are single or available, what you are working with that you need to get away from so you can have that Knight of Swords. Because the Five of Swords is indicating here there is going to be possibly some kind of fight or, again, a bit of a row that may have to happen in a situation where a dysfunctional friend, a dysfunctional family member, or a dysfunctional friendship group, or a dysfunctional community, or a dysfunctional social life could create some butting of heads and we don't want to necessarily allow that kind of dysfunction to continue to exist right we don't need to hold any more space for that but it may be tough maybe even controversial to discuss with a partner or with those involved so that is what i've got for you all i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe you know i appreciate it and should you ever want to get a session with me go on head to my website it's integrative mysticism.com